I'm Father Robert from GadgetAtTheTechStop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at the super secret location Hot Stage Warehouse for Interop Las Vegas 2011, and I'm standing next to Mr. Paul Goodison, who's representing CableSolve. Now, CableSolve is new to Interop, but they're bringing us a solution that might help with this and that. Now, I've got this. How do I turn something like this into something that's manageable? Really what we're trying to do is manage the cables mm -hmm. and the assets that go along with them to bring together holistic management. Okay. We do that through a number of things. If you look at these cables here, there's barcodes on them. Ah, right, and right. And if you okay. look at an asset such as a switch, mm -hmm. there's usually a serial number barcode, or we can apply an asset tag mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. And then back on the server, as we add the barcode, we batch add those items. You maybe import them from your supplier. Got it. And then we use portable devices such as Pocket PCs, Blackberries, Android phones. As we rack the item and patch the item, we record that information on the handheld. So you've got an inventory of your assets and your connectivity. What you're talking about is using the barcodes that already exist on your gear or using the, uh, the, the devices that you already may carry and instead just having your software as a back end to, to uh, take all that in and, and make sure that it's, it's organized in the proper structure. That's right. And if you think about the way that you might have done it traditionally, <laughs> it's pen and paper at well, best. Uh, hopefully. And then perhaps <laughs> into Excel. And you might have Excel for your patching, Excel for your rack, Excel for your power, Excel for your rack units. And what we're trying to do is bring all that into a database and then give people access, as you say, to that information on a portable device okay. as you go. So that you're not scribbling stuff down and then like it is not, not recording that when you get back to your desk. Okay, so take me through the steps. Let's say I'm, a, I'm doing a, a, a colo install. Right. I've got a couple of servers, I've got a couple of switches, I've got fiber and copper. How would I use your solution to make sure that I have a really good organizational chart so that, say, in the future, I can call someone with remote hands and say, take out this patch and plug it into that port on this switch with that server? Right. Really what you want to do, if possible, is before you get to the day of the install mm -hmm. and you've got your tech doing the work, right. you've actually recorded those items as, as inventory in mm -hmm. your storeroom. So everything from the cables to the fiber to the switch to the server. Absolutely. All right. And, and your tech may take out a number of items of, of inventory, mm -hmm. maybe not recording them at that point, but when they get to the colo, mm -hmm. they pick up their handheld, mm -hmm. scan the barcode, okay. and indicate they're putting it in a rack oh. at a particular rack position. And we allow that to be done even numerically, saying rack position 17, or they can draw on a drawing and actually look at that and say, here's where I want to put this item. Mm -hmm. And they take their cable, they scan the barcode of the cable, indicate which port it's going into, right. take the other end, indicate which port that's going into, and that's it. You've racked the item, recorded that, and recorded the cable patching as well. Mm -hmm. And it's done. The nice thing is once it's done on the handheld, it's done for good. Mm -hmm. They don't have to forget to do it later on. Mm -hmm they've done it. And all they do is either synchronize this wirelessly or 3G, mm -hmm. or drop it back in the cradle and they get back to their desk. Mm -hmm. It's not stuck in a, on a share somewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, for instance, at the knock, when we get to uh, Interop, the help desk staff will have access to the information. So if somebody on a booth, the other side of the very, very large show floor, mm -hmm. says, I've got a problem with my internet, right. they can look that record up, they can confirm they've got the right cable in their hand, because it'll have the barcode on, and if need be, trace it back to the switch and query the switch and say, is that port live? It's really avoiding a lot of that hassle when you've actually got the information is being able to use it as well. And that's very important. Simplest of solutions that can help with the greatest of problems. That's I our intention for sure. Now, if they want to find out more about your solution or about how you go about making everything organized, where should they go? Uh, www.cablesolve.com. Paul, thank you very much for talking thank to you us. Brother. You stay tuned because we've got more from Interout Hot Stage. I'm Father Robert, and there's no Uber Geek without you.